Right, in Adam Susan, Adam Thomas, here with Nathaniel Collins. Hi, well, Another points win. Another um, points win, unfortunately. <laughs> How did you find your performance? I thought I boxed really well. Um, I'm very, very disappointed once again that I didn't get the stoppage. I feel like my reflection of my power <laughs> doesn't show with these guys. I'm hitting them hard as fuck, they're just so durable. I think, see, once you get somebody who's not just there to survive, you'll see the real, you know, knockout power or stoppages coming along. So, further down the line, when I get somebody who's making my head on. Yeah. Um, obviously, got your, your hand in a little bucket there. Just, yeah. just uh, doctor saying it's not broken, but obviously. Yeah, thank you. Hurt that in the saw, uh, hurt that in the fight. And yeah. I'll let it rest for a week, touch wood, it's not broken. Um, I don't think it will be. I, I can clench it and blah, blah, blah. It's just a bit swollen. Um, again, just shows I was hitting him hard as fuck. His head was tough. His head was like punching a brick wall, you know what I mean? So yeah. um, it just shows these wee guys, they're just there to survive and make their money. But um, What were your corner sort of saying throughout the fight? Um, Joe was saying, like, just keep your sustained attack going because you'll, you'll get him out of there. So, um, Joe's, Joe's code to me is go through the gears when I'm about to stop somebody. He shouted it the other day to me in the last fight, go through the gears. Um, and then see when we figured we weren't going to stop the last guy, he was like, just box him, enjoy yourself. Every round he was like that to me, go through the gears. So in the first round I threw about 100 punches because he shouted, go through the gears. And I was like, oh that means I, I must look like I'm going to stop him. And I went through the gears. And unfortunately I should have found like, a seventh gear because I went right through all the gears and it wasn't putting him out there. So. Yeah. Um, obviously, you touched on there just before chatting that you went to America recently for Wildcard. Yep. How was that? Uh, phenomenal. You've been out um, there before, I think. We you? Ha I went last year, but this year was much better. Um, I just find like see when you're mixing it with the people that, that bring the best out in you. You've got the you've got Freddie Roach watching over you. Uh, you've got Victor Bosto was there. Benancevic, it's fighting Josh Taylor was there. Um, you've got so many people there. Uh, you, want, you want to shine. Thank you very much. Well Thank you. Well um, you want to shine. So um, I got rounds with Scott Quigg. I got rounds with uh, Joshua Gear. Don't blink. Um, so he's right. quite a big name in the States with top rank. Sparred the Armenian WBC silver champion. I was sparring brilliant people. So right, I was bringing the best in there. Well, title level or have been world champions. That's it. So um, you, you can't buy that experience. It was great to get invited downstairs into the back and you. Just even being surrounded by these people is, is phenomenal. You, you're right, just like for people that don't know the world card, you got obviously the main sort of bit upstairs where everyone trains, yep. and then downstairs is sort of the Thanks, champions. That's and, it. Downstairs yeah, is where it all goes down. And it's all under lock and key, so you need to be invited down. And, um, aye, just amazing, honestly. And I, I impressed them. They said to me, so Freddie said to me, and um, Ernie and the, that's Freddie's right hand man, and they, they both of them says to me, "Wow, like you, you're good. You're something special. So stick at it when you get the experience in you. It's time to go." Um, so that was good. Oh, hearing that sort of from somebody of that experience in Calibre. Like, Absolutely, the, the feedback's amazing. That's just phenomenal. It, it just tells you yourself, like you know, I'm not doing this for nothing almost. Yeah. So, so I already know that yeah. I was at that level. Then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> When are you sort of looking to next year back out? June 6th, I think. June 6th, um, around about that time, I think Ian's got a show, so uh, we're still pushing to try and get a title fight. So Yeah, obviously you might have seen the interview done I with did. Monty. I've seen Monty's um, interview, um, he was saying he was injured and stuff, and it would make it had to be after summer, but you know, that's that's his problem, that's not mine. So we'll, we'll find somebody else. Or if Monty suddenly doesn't get his injury, then we'll fight him, or we'll fight anybody, I don't care. But um, what sort of title are you looking for for this one? Is it uh, hopefully the Celtic, because Scottish or anything. Um, just whatever, whatever's flying about, you know. Um, I'm just waiting and Joe decide that, I don't decide that. Yeah. Um, it was, the only reason Monty got mentioned was because it was mentioned prior to that. I never says that, so, um, not that I wouldn't fight, I'd fight anybody. But uh, we'll see what Ian and Joe say now. Um, yeah. Let them do the business, you know. I'm just out of fight. Week off. <laughs> That's it, a week off, let us hand rest up. Um, I'll still get out and do my running and stuff maybe and get a good get a good munch. Get a good munch. What's on the menu tonight? Um you know what? Just a McDonald's, nothing at all to Simple, simple, it's simple. all you need. Huh? That's it. Um I'll just get McDonald's tonight and we'll we'll chill and at the weekend hopefully I'll get I've been choking to try try Viva Brazil. 
I've heard that's meant to be. Is that one of those like all you can eat things? It's, or is it it's like, like a, a all you can eat thing, Brazilian place, they chop the meat and bring it over to you and stuff, so that sounds good to me. Uh, it doesn't sound too unhealthy either, so. Nah, just load it up. That's it, I'll eat my food, <laughs> don't you worry, don't you worry. Um, big shout for sponsors, obviously, big help for Yeah, so Prepco, um, they, they always accommodate me, they're really good with me. Um, seconds out, Big Ross, he's sorted out my t shirts. Uh, I've got my granddad, so a couple of interviews ago we we done that, so we've got the wee lung cancer badge for him and you know, hopefully he's watching over me. I believe he will be. Um I'd like to give a big shout out to Paige and Castle Removal, so if anyone's looking to, to move, get on to them. Brilliant guy. Yeah. Does the job. Yeah. Have you found something I forgot to ask, um I think it's like your fifth fight in like six months or something. It is uh, I turned pro in October last year, so I fought nearly every month. So <laughs> it's amazing. Active. <laughs> I'm active, I'm active, and that's the best way to be. Do you know what? Sometimes I forget I've only been pro for six months. I'm here and I'm shouting, I want this to anybody. I'll take it anybody. I think I need to realise and slow down and think, you know what, I'm good enough to beat anybody, but it's an experience. So I, I'm, I'm just enjoying the journey right now. Um, and I just think, oh, it's going so quick. I'm five, five fights in six months. So I, it'll be good to kind of slow down. I think after I get this the next summer, one out of the way, yeah. we'll get the summer and we'll enjoy ourselves and have a, have a good break and like, I'm not going to go massive or dance stupid or, you know, I'll just Fine, enjoy my summer, night. you know, yeah, <laughs> just enjoy my summer. But it's been quick, it's been a quick, you know, hopefully, in my eyes, um, people are starting to recognise me. I feel like I don't bring the biggest crowd, I don't, and I don't have loads of hundreds of sponsors and I don't, you know, but hopefully people start to realise that I'm good and, and they want to start supporting me and, you know what I mean? I feel like it's it's going a bit slow in that terms. The fighting's coming fast. Maybe it's a difficult thing because I'm fighting so often. People can't get out to every show. These shows are expensive and that. But you know, it's it's we're getting there. Just keep winning and it'll come. I'm That's sure. it. I can't worry about it too That's much. That's it. Good stuff. Well, listen. Uh, congrats on the win and uh, enjoy the rest. And uh, see you back on Tuesday. Thanks again for. Um,